Hey everyone, XBMC Nut here. Um, sounding a little better in the voice. Uh, mind you, that might be personal opinion. Uh, I wanted to do a review of the Topping or Toping, however you like to say it, VX2. It's a little digital audio amplifier that currently goes on AliExpress for around 90 US dollars. I think I picked mine up in the um, the yearly sale for about 65 US dollars and it is the perfect little amplifier for adding to a uh, google chromecast audio um, and i chose this one specifically i have used cheaper amplifiers on a big project um, seven of them in fact which i've got coming up to show you on youtube soon um, but i wanted to get one of these because if we have a look around the back it doesn't have an analog audio input it has uh, USB input, uh, optical, uh, TOS link, uh, so it's digital audio and a coaxial digital audio. And then you've got the um, left and right speakers, I've got banana plugs in there and a 24 uh, DC power supply. So it has optical in, get my little son off out of the way. And very, very nice blue display on the front and if I can drop this down here so the chromecast audio has a dual 3.5 millimeter socket on it which does both analog audio and digital audio and that is just the cable that goes between the vx2 and the chromecast is just a uh, st uh, standard toss link to a mini toss link so actually i'll unplug that and show you what that actually looks like so that's your little um audio cable there or your um, optical cable and you can actually see the light uh, coming out of the Chromecast audio so that's going to go down the fiber optic cable and I've tested this with the uh, analog amp that I was using that had a 3.5 millimeter input and the sound is um, significantly better and the nice thing with this unit is that when you turn the volume up here, it's a nice little click uh, as it rotates and you get the digital output. Um, but if, when the amp goes into standby or when the amp is switched off and then turned back on again, it remembers where the volume was, which is awesome. And the uh, input USB optical and coax is actually a physical switch. So some of the other amplifiers I've seen on AliExpress, some of the feedback I've seen is that when the power comes on, they actually have a, um, a digital button here to select the source. And when the power comes back on, they actually default to an input other than optical, which is not ideal. So I'll just turn this down and we'll see if we can get Google to um, play some music. Okay, Google. Play Nick Warren Radio on lab speakers. That seemed to work quite nicely. So um, I can... Okay, Google. Stop casting lab speakers. That works quite well. What happens after a period of time of no audio input is the display will actually get two lines in it in a dot, so it goes like into sleep mode, um, which is fantastic. And um, yeah, it just seems to work really well. So keep an eye out for these on AliExpress. I'll put a link to the store uh, that I bought mine from uh, in the item description below. And um, be sure, if you like this video, to leave a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Bye.